everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Shannon and I am a mum of two boys. I have a toddler and a three month old. So I have wanted this year to get quite prepared for Christmas because obviously having a toddler and, well I keep going to say newborn, but he's not a newborn anymore. A toddler and a baby is a handful and I just didn't want to be stressed in December. Um, and I like to collect things like over time anyway, like when I see things on offer or whatever else. So I thought I'd sit down and do a bit of a Christmas haul and just show you everything I've bought so far. I think I've pretty much done with my toddler, but I don't know. The thing of doing it early is that you like, it's easy to get tempted by other things, but I feel like I might just be stern with myself and be like, no, he's got enough. And um, he has got a birthday in January, so you know we've got all this fun to come again um, we do have quite a small house and buzz is very much into cars and pretty much only cars he does have other things he likes to do and we like to do kind of activities and things that i set up but when it comes to like toys he's very much into hot wheels so um yeah it's very easy to think oh like to, to have loads of presents for him to open like all laid out and loads of toys but i know that deep down like he probably wouldn't really be that interested in a lot of it. Um, we go to a lot of playgroups and things like that. If he started showing an interest in a particular toy, then I would then probably go and get that toy for him. We don't only get him things for Christmas. And I feel like at this age, he, it doesn't matter if he gets it at Christmas or just throughout the year. Um, so I didn't want to just go and buy loads of stuff for the sake of buying loads of stuff um, because our house is little and our storage is little and things like that. So um, I know that some people, these videos are funny because I know some people will be watching thinking maybe I've got loads and other people will be watching thinking I've got barely anything at all. So everyone has different ideas of like what the right amount is and budgets and all of that so yeah I hope you enjoy it watching and hopefully you can get, get some ideas from this as well I might well do a gift guide video or two as well as this because as much as these are the bits I've got him for Christmas he has got toys that he loves that I feel like I could talk about to you guys and might be good ideas for you to get for your little ones so let me know if that's something you're interested in but first of all I think I'm going to kind of start with the beginning of December so we're going to do an advent and I'm going to do his bedroom up like a little bit Christmassy so first of all the advent is one I made myself which I'm very proud of I love how it turned out um I do have a small business where I can make these to order if you're interested but um yeah i just am so so happy with how it turned out and it's a really decent size the pockets are a really good size so i've put both of my little boys names on there because as the years go on it'll be something we can get out every year and they can share it like do a day day of each or whatever or to put two chocolates in each pocket or whatever um but for now obviously the three month old doesn't have a clue so it'll probably pretty much just be buzz who gets to enjoy the advent calendar this year um but i've been buying little bits here and there to go in it so obviously firstly i've just bought some white chocolate buttons classic at christmas i might go and get a pack of normal chocolate ones too and i can just put these in like the filler days or the majority of the days will probably just be a chalky because it doesn't need to be excessive but I have also picked up some other little bits and bobs that I'll put like here and there that's not just chocolate and I feel like as they get older as well like I love doing activities so I can put in like a little card that says like today we're gonna go see Santa and things like that and that will be their present for the day or today we're gonna go and go to the garden centre and look at the lights or whatever like just fun little things that don't necessarily cost anything or aren't just chocolate or toys or whatever um that's why I love like these homemade advent calendars and things like that because you can really just like model it to, to you and like what's right for your family at the time and things um but I picked up these little sticker books from Home Bargains and I picked up basically um car ones if you can see and like army vehicles trucks <laughs> and then i did get some animal ones as well um yeah so i'll put one of these um on random days here and there i think these were 69p each and you get quite a few stickers on there so i thought that was a good little filler some of this stuff might end up going in stocking and some of the stocking stuff might end up going in the calendar like it just depends i haven't fully decided yet but um yeah so i've got those and then i picked up these little puzzles from team U, which again i know is like a controversial 
place um everyone has their like opinions on it i've ordered from there once and i think i paid 30 pounds and i got so much stuff because i feel like when you first start you get a good sign up offer or whatever just little wooden puzzles so i've got a digger a submarine whichever way it goes um an airplane and a rocket as well so these the backing board's a little bit big to go in the pocket, but I can just put the puzzle pieces in the advent pocket and then just keep the backing board for, you know, when he plays with it other days. They're quite simple little puzzles, but I just figured these were quite handy to pop in the bag for when we go out for like dinner and things like that, just to keep him entertained for a little while. Sorry, by the way, if the lighting's a bit weird, it is so dark and rainy today. We're actually having like a, st is it still Barbara or something like that or Babette? I don't know, Babette, that's someone from Gilmore Girls, not Gilmore Girls, yeah, Gilmore Girls. Um, anyway, so I've got a ring light on, but I always just feel like it, I hate the light, it, like I don't have a good setting, I normally just sit in front of a window and let the natural light do its thing, but um, yeah, it was just way too dark, so I've got the room light on and then I've got a ring light on and I just always feel like it makes me look just yucky, so apologies in advance and also it means the ring light reflects on the things I'm showing you and you can't always see it that well. Also, I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry, but I've got a lot to get through. So next up for the advent, I've bought this little um, Jurassic Park digging set. It's, uh, yeah, got like kinetic sand, I think. Yeah, with moldable sand. It comes with a little scoop and you dig out. Um, so yeah, this will either be stocking or for the advent. I think this was three pounds from Asda. I also picked up one of these from Asda. It's a 3D puzzle eraser. Now Buzz doesn't really need like rubbers, but, but they're little Disney characters and I thought that would be fun, like a little surprise thing. So, and that will fit in the pocket nicely. I think this is £1.50. Um, I picked up this little wash mitt from Home Bargains. I think he was like 79p or something like that. And I thought I could fold that up and put that in the advent. I've got a Hot Wheels aeroplane. He loves Hot Wheels. Oh, this light you're not really seeing it he loves hot wheels and yeah i think this was 120 or something in one of the supermarkets it's a water bomber sky show like a airplane hot wheels which most of his hot wheels are cards so i hope he likes that and again i thought it would fit in the advent calendar nicely and in terms of his bedroom i've actually ordered some like old books like secondhand books on ebay um this isn't an old one as such but it's the dinosaur that pooped christmas he's not had any of the dinosaur that pooped books before um but i saw this one on there and i thought let's give it a go so yeah what i do is i take off all his normal books on his bookshelf and i'll put all christmas books on there and then i might put a little like christmas bunting up and a little santa here and there whatever things like that um, I did it for Halloween and I'm so happy with his room. So I can't wait to do it again for Christmas. Um, I got him this Spots Magical Christmas. I bought this because I am sure I remember this book very vividly. Um, although mine was like a big version. So when this came, I was like, hmm, maybe it's not the same book. But yeah, Spot the Dog, Magical Christmas. And these were all just like a pound or two each on eBay, like I said. And then I got Spots First Christmas. And this has got like... Um, lifty flap bits you know i got barba and father christmas because this is one i definitely remembered i mean it's a lot of writing a lot of writing so probably it'll be one that we just look at pictures and i will just make up the words to get through it but these books aren't just for this year they'll be in the family now for ages so I'll get them out every year so as he gets older obviously it'll become a bit more age appropriate i got father christmas by raymond briggs i do actually think one of our friends got him a raymond briggs set um of books when he was like one and that's away with our christmas stuff i don't know if it's all christmas books i can't really remember so maybe we do already have a copy of this but um yeah it's with our christmas occasion so i'll see that when we get those down and then mog's christmas um did any of you used to read the Mog books? So yeah, I picked those up. Like I said, they were all a pound or two each from eBay um, and they will go on his Christmas shelf. And then I picked this up. I can't even remember if it was last year or the year before. Just a little elf on the shelf door. We do have an elf on the shelf. Again, it's been put away with the Christmas stuff. Um, I'm not gonna do elf on the shelf this year. He 
it's too young to understand i might do little bits but also i'm very aware that i've got an, a baby as well and like i don't want to overwhelm myself this is what i do i go all in on all the festive fun no matter what the season what the holiday i just get so excited and then i just life i just find it a lot so i've got this i might just pop it on his wall and it's just like a little decoration but um yeah this was super cheap from home bargains a couple of years ago but i know they do bring it out every year it's a little wooden door with a post box and a ladder so i thought that was cute and then lastly for his room you would have seen this in my home bargains haul video the other day if you watched that it's like a felt christmas tree and it's got all felt decorations and i thought we could just hang this on his wall he could decorate it and um, yeah, I thought he would love that. So that is the kind of early December stuff to kickstart the festive month, which I'm so excited for. Um, and then next I'm going to go into stocking bits. So our stockings I love. I wish I had them here to show you, but they're in the loft with all of our Christmas decorations. We've got like these, I guess they're kind of vintage now. I think I got mine when I was about... 12 or 13 from shop disney mine is red a red stocking with like a white trim around the top and bell on the front um from beauty and the beast and then when i got with ollie um in 2010 we got him one from shop disney as well that was sully from monsters inc shop disney don't do that style of stocking anymore but because ollie and i've always had those like when we had buzz and it was his first christmas i was like i really want him to have one too someone listed some on facebook marketplace and i think she was listing three um I'm pretty sure we bought all three because I was like, let's just get them. She was selling them for a really decent price. People on Vinted and things were selling them for ridiculous prices. Um, and she was selling them at just like a normal price. Um, so we bought all three because I was like, when we expand our family, we don't know how many kids we're going to want and whatever else. So we got all three. So we've got five. So if we have another one, who knows? But we'll be sorted. Um, and obviously Otis's first Christmas this year. So he'll have one as well. I think we've got a Mickey one a like mickey and friends one and a winnie the pooh one i want to say i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah our stockings are really cute and i just spoke an unnecessary amount of time about them so stocking fillers is it a stocking without some chocolate i just got a milky bar button tube that we'll put in his stocking i picked this up in audi it's like bath confetti i don't know if it's any good but again it was originally like 150 or something but then they knocked it down to even cheaper so i grabbed that um <laughs> this might seem super boring but i grew up getting toiletries in my stocking let me know if you did as well because i know that everyone's different but yeah i got toiletries and like just like things like new socks new like deodorant cotton buds shampoo um like face cloths and things like that as well as chocolates and like gifts as well but um i picked up this toothbrush for buzz he need will need a new toothbrush by the time christmas comes around and this one it lights up i'm not going to press it actually because it goes off for two minutes and yeah it flashes for two minutes so that's like when it stops flashing that's when you're meant to stop brushing your teeth um so i thought he would like that and i also bought him some new toothpaste we have toothpaste but i saw this one had lightning mcqueen on it and the tube actually has lightning mcqueen on it and things like that anything to help them want to brush their teeth and this is three years plus um and he will be three in january so they are good for his stocking I also got this crazy soap, foaming soap, in a, I don't know what colour they are, but like I'm guessing a pink and a blue or a purple, oh, I hope they're not both purple because they've both got purple lids, I can't actually see where it says the colour, um, but yeah, I saw someone use this on like a sensory play set up, like on a play table, I've just seen how messy my background is, I'm sorry about that, um, but yeah, so I grabbed these because I was thinking I was going to use them for playing. But I've popped them in his stocking pile for now. And if I don't use them before then, he can have them as his soaps. And if I do use them for playing, then whatever. And they were like a pound fifty or something each in Boots, I want to say, or Asda. Um, I got him another mess-free colouring. He has a Peppa Pig one at the minute, which he's almost finished. Um... And these are really great to take out with us, like if we're going for dinner or going around to friends or family's house or whatever. These are quite expensive. They're five pound, um, and that's like an offer price. They're sometimes even more. Um, 
but they are really really good you get like pens that if you draw on the walls or anything they don't come out of color but on this special paper that comes inside they color it in um and yeah he loves them so he's got a peppa pig one and every set has different color pens so i'm gonna keep the ones from his peppa pig set and um just keep a stash of them as we use these over time but yeah i'll pop that in his stocking as well again you'd have seen this and this if you watched my home bargains haul this is like a sticker activity book with vehicles and this is a sticker activity book with diggers and this was three pound this was 179 and yeah they are perfect stocking fillers i got this from team you although i have seen them on amazon and other places it's basically they're like foam shapes um if you can see there and you can make like a road like track and when you get them wet they stick to your bath or to the tiles and i just you know what i'm saying he loves cars so um it comes with little foam cars but i know that he would probably he started taking his hot wheels in the bath with him just a couple he went through a phase of not wanting to bath and letting him take his hot wheels in the bath worked and now he loves bathing again so he'll probably like roll those around the track as well but yeah this was a couple of pounds and um i know that he's gonna love that I will link everything I can below from Timu as well, but again, I know you can get it on Amazon. It's an LCD writing tablet, um, no paper, no chalk, and it's literally, yeah, just like a screen. It's super light. This was like three pounds, and you get a pen, and you can draw on it, apparently. So, um, yeah, again, I thought just handy to take with us when we're out and about, like anything to keep them entertained. And then I picked these up in... Aldi actually I've got a C shapes one and a counting dominoes these orchard toys games are brilliant like he has a couple and he loves them I remember having them when I was a kid like one called shopping list I think specifically six in my head um but yeah this says from three to six and this says from three to seven so um yeah I mean this is like shape sorting basically which he would defo be able to do and he would love so yeah these are a couple of pounds each and perfect little stocking fillers or under the tree presents or anything really but that is everything I picked up for his stocking oh no there's one thing here I picked this up in Marks and Spencer's now this was five pound which is a lot it's a box of chocolates basically and it's got foiled solid milk chocolate car shapes in and I was in Marks's buying you know you get the biscuit tins in there that are like house shapes and they light up I thought they're gorgeous for like Christmas decorations so I've treated myself to a couple but I saw this in here I saw this in there too and uh, I thought it'd be a really nice either like um I don't know sometimes I do a, like December the 1st box as well like a Christmas box where I'll put his Christmas pajamas in and like basically how people do a Christmas Eve box but I like to do it at the beginning of December because I like him to wear his Christmas pajamas all year all month and like I don't know to me it makes more sense that way so I might pop that in there um or I might do a stock in I don't know but it's just a gorgeous little car and it's like a proper car as well as much as it's like a chocolate box this is a car that he'll be able to play with so i thought that was fun now onto the main presents he hasn't got like a huge main like a singing and dancing main or anything like that um i have just got an annual pass to the zoo um for us so we can take him there loads and i think things like that are like what i prefer to do especially at this age where like i say he just doesn't really know and he's got lots of toys and whatever so yeah things like annual passes or I want him to start like a rugby tots or a football club or something like that. So things like that is kind of like main things really. But for him to open on the day, the first thing I've got is this busy book. He already has one and I talk about these till the cows come home on my Instagram every time I like remember to talk about it because he just loves it. Like it is a brilliant thing. I'm not going to open it up, but it's basically the one he's got. It's like whiteboard kind of pages, like white clean and they normally come with pens um and like they have coloring on there i don't know if this specific one does but basically it's just like an activity book they'll have velcro little bits that you stick on and like match shapes and match colors and match fruit and vegetables and it's kind of educational well it's definitely educational but he really loves it so i picked him up a different one of those because he's had his other one um for a year now and he still loves it and plays with it all the time but i thought it'd be fun to get something slightly different with different bits that he can learn. I got him some magnetic tiles. This is an 83 piece set. Um, I wasn't sure how many pieces to get. 
because some of them like seem like really good prices but then when you look it's only like 30 pieces and I'm like how many things can you make with 30 pieces I don't know but yeah I'm sure you've seen these these are everywhere and I've actually started saving things when it comes up on my explore page on Instagram people make really cool stuff with these and like car related things like tracks and things and like garages that you can go down the ramp on and things like that so I've started saving them because when it comes to him opening this, it'll be cool that I can be like, Buzz, look, and make all these cool setups with him. Um, and again, I think these will last forever. Like, they'll still play with these when they're much older, I'm sure, the boys. I got him this on Amazon Prime Day. It is a Hot Wheels bucket, basically. Like, you, it stores loads of cars in this hole. I think it says it stores, like, 80-odd cars. Um, but it actually unravels, if you can see the picture on here... And it unravels to be a racetrack, five lane racetrack, um, which, yeah, I don't know how well you can see on the box, but I love a multifunctional thing. Um, and this was like £19 or something on Amazon Prime. And it comes with just one car, I think, but he has got lots and lots. So he will be so happy with this. Um, and so will I, because anywhere to like bung his cars at the end of the day is a winner with me. Um, something else I got him for Christmas, but the day it arrived, <laughs> I think Otis had had his jabs. It was raining outside, we were stuck home, and when the Amazon delivery guy came to the door, I was like, you can have a present, because that will keep my afternoon, uh, that will make my afternoon a lot easier, it will keep you entertained and whatever else so he opened this one which again I'd bought on Amazon Prime Day I think it was £24 and it is a lorry that stores I think it said 22 cars so you can put them all in here it came with three Hot Wheels cars um, and both sides have storage it opens out and unfolds and it becomes a huge long track and then you can put two cars in this front bit and like push this button and it like shoots them forward down the track and they race but at the end of the day I fold it back up pop all the cars in and again storage and if we're out and about or going to family's house or anything like that he can just take this with him and he's he's good to go so I was well chuffed with that and he loves it so um as much as it's not technically a Christmas present because I've already given it to him I thought I'd show you it because it was meant to be a Christmas present um next thing I picked up in Wilco's on their like closing sale I think this was three pounds or something and it's just a little summer toy that you can have out in the garden in the summer and it's just one of those rocket launches you know where you stand on that and then this little foam thing shoots up in the air um yeah I just thought that'd be fun I picked up some play-doh which is probably maybe more of a stocking present because this was like two or three pounds but it's big so it'll go into the tree it's just one two three six different color play-dohs I think they're glittery um and yeah I've just thrown away all of his play-doh because it had gone a bit yucky so that'll be nice to have a refresh of play-doh and then I've picked him up a couple of clothes bits which I don't know at this age I know they probably think it's boring getting clothes but um not when it's mickey mouse <laughs> so i got this one from h&m i think it is so gorgeous it's a little like quarter zip um jumper like pullover thing it's got mickey and pluto and goofy um and then it just says disney 100 on the back there um oh it's got mini on the arm as well is there anything on the other arm no but yeah i we are going to disneyland paris in march and i figured getting little bits for christmas like that saves you know it's handy it's handy for him to have those bits um and i also got him this hoodie which is also from the disney 100 collection did i say before that was from h&m again i will link below and then this hoodie on the back has got just like loads of like retro vintage kind of disney artwork and on the sleeve it says disney 100 so yeah just got him those two jumpers from h&m and i think they're both in size two to four which is quite a broad sizing isn't it but um yeah I thought they were very very cute so like I said I feel like we're pretty much done like I might look out for like a a garage of some sort like a wooden car garage or maybe a hot wheels towel one but I think I'd probably look for that on Facebook marketplace because he doesn't care like at this age and it'll be handy anyway he'll come downstairs and it'll be built and he can just play with it <laughs> rather than it coming in a box so that's a winner um but yeah like i said his birthday is in january so we don't feel like we need to go overboard at christmas and i know he'll be happy with these bits and bobs i was um and ah about a tablet but i just don't think he really needs one right now like 
I don't know, we'll see. Just to finish off, I'll quickly show you the bits I got for Otis so far. Now, like I said, he is three months old. He really doesn't need anything because he's got all of Buzz's old toys. Um, and at this age, like, they just go through toys and things so quickly. I think there's something I'm gonna get him. Well, actually, there are a couple of things I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him one of those water mats, you know, like for tummy time, that you put a little bit of water in and they like splash on. Buzz had one. Um, water doesn't come out, it's like mess free, but yeah, it's like a good sensory thing. Buzz had one, um, which we got rid of because it's impossible to get the water kind of out and I just knew by the time we had another baby it would probably be a bit yucky. Um, they're, I think, about five pounds, seven pounds, something like that. So we'll get him one of those um, and I might get him a couple of other little bits and bobs, but um, yeah, he really doesn't need lots and lots. I do, yeah, I might look at getting him a jumper roo on Facebook Marketplace, again, I don't really see the point in buying one brand new because they're so expensive and buzzes we got on Facebook Marketplace and um, we couldn't sell it after, like, no one wanted it. I think we gave it away in the end, like, even for £10 we couldn't sell it, so and it was in really nice condition. So, to me, it just seems a bit crazy to buy one full price and then, yeah. Anyway, so we might get him that stuff. I haven't really thought about it that much yet because... I know he won't really mind no matter what, it's more for us, like things to give him to keep him entertained and to play with him, but yeah, he's got lots of toys from Buzz, like I said. Bought him this little um, pool string toy and it's a fidget kind of toy, it's got poppers and strings and whatever else. Again, that was from Teemu and it was a couple of pounds. I've got him a bib for when we start weaning. I've got a couple of these like spinny things that you stick to windows, I think it was a set of three. Um, and yeah, I know he'll like those and they're good like once they go in a high chair and things like to pop on the tray and play with or on airplanes or whatever else so again that was Team U but I will try and find similar on Amazon and then I got this two in one stacks of circles and blocks and it is a yeah you get these stacking blocks and you get these stacking circles with this little koala thing on top basically like a fabric tissue box type thing that you open up and then it's got all these kind of um like fabric tissues that they pull out and again it's just like a sensory thing when they when they're that age like around six months whatever they like just pulling things out don't they i have this little toy it's like a rain cloud and it's just got little holes and i think you just run it under a tap or whatever and then it just kind of rains out so that's a nice little sensory thing or whatever um and i think that is everything i got otis as well so that's all i've bought for christmas so far for the boys um, i will quickly just show you the wrapping paper because I thought it was a total bargain. Like, look how long this roll is. I don't think you're appreciating how long this roll is. They're normally like this long and you get that whole extra bit, which is great for like, if you've got big presents, isn't it? But yeah, home bargains. I do prefer good quality wrapping paper. It annoys me when you're cutting wrapping paper and it rips. And I also like it when it's got a grid on the back so you can cut a straight line. And it does look like it might be a little bit see-through this wrapping paper, but look at the design. I don't know if you can see. It's like stars with the Disney gang on there. And yeah, I think it was 179 or something. I mean, I'm rubbish at remembering, but it was really affordable. Um, so I couldn't resist. And I just think, sometimes I try and buy like all different ones that go together nicely, but I think I'm just gonna go the whole hog, everyone's wrapping, everyone's presents in the same wrapping paper. Um, and then lastly, I just bought a little like ribbon kind of string set to tie around them. I did want to get the gift tags that match the paper, but they didn't have it. Um, I do have this kind of twine and stuff already, but I just bought a little bit more to make sure we're sorted. So that is everything I have bought so far for my little boys for Christmas. Um, let me know what you're planning to get your little ones, if you've got kiddos of a similar age, or if there's anything you think I'm missing that I need to get for them. Hope you enjoyed, and I will do a gift guide if you would like me to, so let me know. I'm going to come back soon with some more videos, hopefully, so please do make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. Please give the video a big thumbs thumbs up and yeah leave a comment below if you'd like to I love knowing who's watching and yeah to know I'm not just talking to myself so thank you so much for watching and I will see you very very soon for another video bye guys mm -hmm.